talk. Hope everybody's having a great week. You know, spread on positivity. You know, just greatness. Investing in your dreams. Investing in your goals. Following your dreams. Following your goals. You know, I'm just hoping everybody's doing something positive. And I just want to spread some positivity out there. Because like I said, the energy that you put out, the energy that you'll get back. It's been quite a week on social media. Um, and that's what I'm here to talk about. So let's get right into it. Before I jump into anything else, I just want to say uh, rest in peace to Cliff Dixon, Megan Stiley's mother, and Tech Nine. Um, I send my condolences out to all their families. I send well wishes and you know, just prayers and healing out to all their families because it's, it's tough for the family member. Um, and I just want to say this, bro. Put the guns down. Put the, put the fucking guns down, bro. Like, I'm, I'm tired of seeing R.I.P. posts on the grand because the nigga wanted it. It was trigger happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of seeing it. Um, Good Dixon, he was murdered. He was gunned down outside of his birthday party. You know what I'm saying? Right before entering, he got killed on his birthday. It's fucked up. So, like I said, I sent well wishes out and healing and uh, all of my condolences out to his family. I sent my condolences out to Megan Stallion because it's very difficult losing a, 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 a parent. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's, it's very difficult losing a parent. And it's a very tough process. It's a slow healing process. And it, it's, it's just bad, you know what I'm saying? And I sent my condolences out to Tech Nine and his family. Um, I'm not really sure how he passed, but you know, just, just sad moment, you know what I'm saying? You just don't want to do nothing but, you know, send out, you know, your, your, your condolences and your well wishes to their all their families and just hoping that they do. It's very difficult losing a family member, but, you know, with, with all that sad stuff, <laughs> let's jump right into the show. So the first thing I want to talk about is spring break in my game. I've been on social media. I've been watching, I've been spectating, I've seen the pictures, I've seen the videos, I've seen all the posts, I've seen the memes and shit. I've seen everything about everybody being in Miami for spring break this year. And what I've seen this year is very different from what I've seen last year. You know, it's crazy. Because last year, everybody was fucking. This year, everybody was fighting. You know what I'm saying? Last year, i seen a video of somebody, you know, doing the do in the elevator with like mad people standing around. People was getting in the elevator and shit, and they just completely disregarded everything else that was going on. And this year, I'm just seeing a whole lot of shit going on. I'm seeing females getting knocked out by men. I'm seeing 10 on 10 bras. Like, I'm just seeing everything going on. And it's not resulting in a positive way. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. You know what I'm saying? Spring break is for hard-working students who just need a break from school, just have fun, and just do whatever the hell they want to do. Uh, not for bum ass niggas who just sit around like they don't do shit, bro. I know a whole lot of niggas who done sat around and, and collected change for this moment, you know what I'm saying? Collected change for this moment to go up and go to Miami and pray on the fucking, on the fucking college kids, bro. Like, and then, and, then, and then when I say bum ass niggas, I'm talking about you know, some of the grown ass men, bro. Y'all niggas is not in college, y'all niggas got no job. First of all, how did y'all end up in Miami? And second of all, th this is not for you. This is not your calling. Stay home. You know what I'm saying? Stay home. What do you need to break from? You a bum ass nigga. You don't need no break. Spring break is not for you. This is not your calling. It's for college kids. Leave the fucking college kids alone. Let them mingle in their own little worlds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's for them. It's not for you. Next topic, Cardi B. There was a live of Cardi B, you know what I'm saying? Cardi B was on live, and this was an old live, you know what I'm saying? I think this was like two years ago, I think. I don't know, but I know that it's old. And, you know, she pretty much admitted to, you know, drugging men and robbing them, you know, to survive. And whew, it has gotten social media up in a frenzy. A lot of people are like, cancel Cardi B. Cancel or cancel, cancel, cancel. You know what I'm saying? And people were also comparing her to Robert. I I don't I don't really have too much to say about the situation because like it's it's, it's just it's just uh but a 
I do want to say it's not right. I'm not defending Cardi for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not a right action. I don't condone robbing people when they're not conscious. I don't condone robbing people, period. But, like, <laughs> like I, I just, I don't know. But that's not right for her to do that. And for y'all niggas to be, you know what I'm saying, bashing her, but it's a whole lot of niggas who done robbed, murdered, stole, and raped. You know what I'm saying? All them niggas is on the charts. You know what I'm saying? We ain't cancel them motherfuckers. So, I'm just gonna leave that up in the air. How did y'all feel about that shit? I'm gonna leave that up in the air. Um, Next topic. Nuzzy Smollett was clear of all charges that were filed against him for filing a false police report. Um, how about this situation? I'm gonna double back a few weeks ago. Um, It wasn't right for him to come out and file a fake police report. I, I was mad confused. I'm mad confused to what it was about, what it was for, because it cost him his job on Empire, it cost him his reputation, it cost it pretty much cost him his whole fucking career. And I'm thinking like, what what was this for? You know what I'm saying? Like that, that that's one thing. I'm still confused. I'm like, what is this for? Who is this for? Why did you act like why why did you choose to go about this situation? This way, why would you even bring up? How did you even concoct this situation? Like, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, but I don't think that he should have had as much charges as he had when there were plenty of times when there were false police reports filed, you know what I'm saying? Like, from mad people, it's videos of people calling the police and filing police reports because they felt threatened and they had no particular reason to feel threatened, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of situations where people file false police reports and nothing happened to them. I don't think that it should have came up this this far, you know what I'm saying, to the point where he would be facing jail time for filing a false police report. When there was, like I said, there's mad motherfuckers who file false police reports all the time. And nothing happens to them, you know what I'm saying? So, that, that, that's what I say about that. Did y'all go and see us? Bro. First of all, I hadn't seen it yet, you know what I'm saying, because I... I just don't go to movies on open nights because it's too congested, you know what I'm saying? I don't like too many being in spaces with too many people. Like, I, it's just too congested for me. And what I'm hearing is that the movie was good. <laughs> I heard that the movie was slightly confusing. Not even slightly confusing, but I heard the movie was just confusing. But Get Out was kind of confusing, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still going to see it. I don't give a fuck about whatever y'all niggas gotta say, bro. I'm still going to see that movie. And please don't ruin. Please don't spoil it. I don't want to see no fucking spoilers, bro. Like when you go to when you go to the movie, when you go to see the movie, don't put it on Snap. Don't put it on Instagram. Don't be snapping the movies. Don't be snapping no clips, bro. Like just stop it. I kind of went off on a whole little tangent, but yeah, I heard the movie was pretty good, and the results that it got back was really good. It was the biggest opening night for a horror film ever, ever. Like, that last word, ever, it holds weight. <laughs> it holds weight. So I'm really proud of the accolades that the movie's getting, um, it, although I didn't see it. I'm happy that the movie's getting a lot of accolades. I'm happy that the movie's getting a lot of um, press. I'm happy that the movie is doing good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, hoping, I'm, I'm just happy that a fucking Black director is out here doing the damn thing, bro. Like, uh, that's what I'm happy to see. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy that it's all going successful. You know, no, no scandals, no, 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 no hitches, bro. Like, I'm just happy that you know everything is just rolling out so smoothly for this movie. And yeah, bro, congrats to Jordan Peele, man. He's doing the goddamn thing. The next topic, um, y'all about to hip hop Atlanta? I, I watch the show, you know what I'm saying? This is not a review on the show, I'm just going through the shit that like really happened with the, in the tabloids within the cast members of the show. Um, first of all, Kirby Rashid, I was gonna I was gonna ask a little question for you know the women out there. Um if you had a situation like Kirk and Rashida's, would you like be okay with accepting the, the child that was created outside of marriage. Like, would, would, would y'all be okay with that? The, I'm, I'm just posing that question out there because 
if I got married and my wife was to procreate with another man, you know what I'm saying? There's not gonna be a marriage anymore after that. It's it's it's, it's rap. Young Jock, bro, did y'all see Young Jock's hair? Like I said before, bro, like he 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 be on the roll with this shit. Like he just he know how to get people talking when it comes to the fucking hair. I don't got that much. I don't got that much bravery to do that to my hair. You know what I'm saying? I I look mad crazy. That, that's that's one. You gotta be a brave motherfucker to <laughs> to pull some shit off like that. Like. It, you're bold, bro, and I respect it. <laughs> Spice and, um, you know, her bleach her skin. So this is the thing, right? This is the thing. It, it, she, she didn't go through with, with the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? It was all for, uh, you know, publicity. But for anybody who is, you know, dealing with colorism, because it's a very, it, it's very prominent in, you know, the, the industry. Um, I just want to say this, and I'm totally going to that though. You wanted to bleach your skin because you know what I'm saying the masses are telling you to, and the masses are telling you, and the masses are telling you that you're too dark. You want to bleach your skin; it's not making the problem any better. You're just contributing more to it. That's all I gotta say about situations. So you know what I'm saying? Like if you're dark, bro, embrace it. If like that's it, bro. If you if you're dark, if people are telling you that you're too dark, bro, embrace it. Embrace it, bro. Like get get. Melanin is rich. The brown skin is worth more than a lot of shit, bro. That's all I gotta say. Someone's out there, love yourself, love your brown skin. Even if you just embrace yourself no matter what you are, period. But like, it, this is specifically for brown skin women and brown skin men. You know what I'm saying? Because there are a lot of dudes out here who do, who are, you know what I'm saying, a victim to the shit. They don't like to admit it, but you know it's dead ass true. Like, why do you think there's so many cases where niggas like don't want to date? You know what I'm saying, brown skin women, because they are dealing with self hate. Because they were the butt of the joke growing up. You know what I'm saying? That that's why like, shit like that happens. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like I said, like you know, for the for the, you know, the darker people in the community, love yourself. Embrace your dark skin, bro, because there's plenty of people out here who want to have that. I'm just saying. Another topic. Um, Big Sean, he recently, uh, you know, came through on social media, dropped a video, and, you know, pretty much talked about his experience with, you know, depression. Um, very good topic, you know what I'm saying? I want to commend him for, you know, coming out and, you know, just being very vocal about his experience with um, depression and, you know, anxiety and all that because th this is why I commend him for it. Because we've been programmed to think that depression and anxiety is like a, 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 the, the white person's disease. Um, and if you do want to, if you are doing these issues, if you do want to seek help, you're weak for it. You know what I'm saying? And I just wish that that whole narrative can just be like erased because a lot of us have PTSD, a lot of us have anxiety, a lot of us have depression. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us deal with a whole lot of shit. If we don't seek treatment because our parents or their parents, uh, just, 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 just the family. You know what I'm saying? The family thinks that. It is weak for you to go and seek help. They think that mental illness is not real, but it's very real. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I commend him for coming out and it's, you know his experience, bro. And I just want to say, like, if you are dealing with these issues, man, talk to somebody. Like, if you are dealing with depression, anxiety, PTSD, any mental illness that any mental illness, if you're dealing with these issues. It's okay to talk to somebody, bro. Black men, it's okay to talk to people, okay? It's okay to seek help, because a lot of us got issues that we don't speak on, we just harbor that shit, and it's not right. So if you are dealing with these issues, it's okay to go talk to people, that's it. Like, there, 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 there's therapists here for a reason. It's gonna take a lot of work for us to, be, to eventually come out and be like, you know what, 
we know these issues, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna take us a minute to erase that fucking narrative that mental illness and you know what I'm saying, seeking help for your mental illness is a white person's thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna take a minute to erase that, but I'm glad that people are coming out and saying it. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad people are sharing their experiences with it. Because it's giving more people opportunities to come out and share their experiences with it. So how anything else to talk about? Oh yeah, new music. There has been like no new music. Like I, I don't know what it is, but it's like compared to last year, there has been like no new, new music dropping like as of now. Like, cause last year, bro, every time I turned around, somebody was dropping some shit every Friday or every Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas was always dropping tapes, you know what I'm saying? But nobody is dropping any new music, but what I will say is, bro, you know, look out for, I going to promote some of my peoples. Um, you know, look out for my peoples. They dropping some new heat soon. Um, excited for that. You know, I'm finna promote it. You know, I'm finna make a big deal out of it. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I do. I support people. I'm not, a, like I said before, I'm not a hating ass nigga. I do not hate on niggas making moves. Another thing, y'all finna stop playing with Earl Sweatshirt. Like, y'all need to stop. Um, it was a video that dropped, um, uh, I guess these people were fans of Earl Sweatshirt, uh, they came up, they were walking with him, like, it looks like they were walking with him, and they put the camera on him, and he fucking smacked the fucking camera down, like, I respect people's privacy, respect people's space, and respect their wishes, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure Earl Sweatshirt and plenty of other celebs deal with that shit on the regular, people walking up to them and putting up a camera, unwarranted, you know what I'm saying, unwarranted, so... I don't blame them for smacking that shit down. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't blame them for being upset. That's all I say. I don't blame, I don't blame Sweatshirt for being upset because, like I said, man, him and a whole bunch of celebrities they don't that shit all the time. So respect their wishes. Don't want no fucking cameras off. Don't bring no fucking cameras off. That's it. Fab, Fab. I, I somebody need to relay this message to Fab. Nigga, I'm tired of playing with you. I need a summertime shootout three or Young OG Project two. I'm tired of playing with you, bro. I need some vibes for the spring and the summer and to hold me out for the fall too. Cause, cause you, 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 you slipping, my nigga. You slipping. Yeah, that's it for today's episode of Mars Talk. Um, hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll see y'all next week for episode 14. And in between episode 14, I may, I may. Drop something in between. I might because I'm working on something. And depending on how it gets done, how quick it gets done, it might get put out. You know what I'm saying? But if it's not out in between, bro, it's gonna be out regardless. But yeah, um, thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks to the people who support me, the people who watch, the people who tune in every week. Um, yeah, man. And I will see you on this week, episode 14. I'm gonna stay positive, stay safe, um, do the right thing. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just do the right thing. You want people ain't looking, bro. Just do the right thing. I'll see y'all next week, episode 14. And I'm out.